Hey guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1998 and welcome back for another new video for today. Today I'm on the episode 2 for my GojiFan98 Toho Kaiju a thon. Today I am going to review the Toho's 1957 movie, The Mysterian. The Mysterian's had. We're going to have to discuss a lot of history. This is the first time Toho decided using their new technique for the rest of their entire movie when there is no longer due to full screen. And so. With their new, ta to the new technology, it was now became Toho Sko for a widescreen. The Mysterians had an original story was written by Chunjiro Okumate, if I said his name right, until it was later became an adapted, like, uh, adaptation by Shikeru Koyama that he was the same guy who wrote the original story for the first Godzilla in 1954, until Toho hired Takeshi Kimura write the full screenplay of The Mysterians. And thus, the Mysterians was created. And in that time, producer Tomiyuki Tanaka thought he wanted to add any kaiju to, and it will see to approve of the movie to be success. But is is the Mysterians have a kaiju in it? The answer is yes. It's the first. This is where we first met Mogera, a giant robot monster. This is where we first met Mogera. Mogera in this movie, he was played by Haru Nakajima, and another suit actor, Katsumi Tasuka as they were share row of the character. Mogera, like, he has only had, like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine minutes of screen time. I can't remember it much. The Mogera design looks pretty amazing. Originally, before he was actually a robot, he was described as original concept was supposed to be a giant mole reptile hyper creature, had the ability to breathe fire, much like Godzilla. But this concept was rejected as Honda thought that Mogera should be as a robot, as a remote control robot. So they build that thing anyway. The Mysterians had a very, well, they have some of the greatest familiar faces from other past Toho movies, including Godzilla movie, like Kenji Sahara, who were previously portrayed as the main lead for Rodan as Shigeru, and now in this movie, The Mysterians, Sahara was portraying our main character named Asumi, along with the actors who plays Kyo from the original Rodan also reunited with Sahara and she was portrayed as Esko Shirashi. And we got Akihiko Hirata also make it a return and he plays a scientist character named Shirashi. And his, his ex fiance Hiroko was played by the actress who portrays Amiko Yamani from the first Godzilla. Mokuvo Koji reunited with Hirata at the time. That It was really, really great to have these actors to be reunited. Along with the Dr. Yamani actor also make a return in this movie. The actor who plays Yamani made a return and he's playing as Dr. Adashi. The characters in the movie was really great, but the Mysterians also known as in Japan was called the Earth's Defense Force. The movie was a really big hit and the movie was directed by Shiro Honda and composer was handled by the great Akira Ifukube, Eiji Suobaya held for a special effects director. In the interview of 1992, about the year before Honda passed away, Ichiro Honda recalled in The Mysterians is his favorite film he ever direct. So this is a very important, this is a very we need to know, that Mysterious film, it is Ichiro Honda's his favorite film he ever directed. The Mysterious design was very impressive. I really love the design of there when they have a cape and have a, uh, colors between red, yellow, and blue. The Mysterian's leader was played by Yuchu Sechida, if you may recognize him, who was, will go on to play, play as the controller of Planet X in the Invasion of Astro Monster. But Suchida did make an appearance in Godzilla film in 1955's Godzilla Race Again, plays one of the Japanese self-defense force air pilot, who was an old friend of Hiroshi Kazumi's character in the movie. Suchida also was supposed to be going to appearance in Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, plays as the assassin leader. But they took over, but they replaced him with a different actor. Let's get back to the Mysterians. I like Suchida did a great play as the Mysterians' leader. And uh, he told his scientist character to, to explain it, why would they come to Earth? And why would they have been in space for long? More than 100,000 years ago, their home planet Mistroy was destroyed by the Great Atomic War. By the, between the battle races against the Mysterians on their own. Some of their ancestors escaped Mistroy and they traveled to Mars. And 
They did not want a war, but they actually trick people. That's what aliens do. They always like to trick people. But they set up the dome in Mount Fuji, and they were setting up. They wanted to build their fortress in the in the area. According to Shirashi, if a fortress will be completed, Tokyo will be destroyed by that. Shirashi was actually work with the mysterious until he realizing, be with their side was not a good idea, because he was been tricked by the mysterious. Like he was, like they played him. It's kind of like that. So anyway. And the Mysterians wanted to marry the, the Earth women, so they had to reproduce their civilization. When the when the Earth refuses, they wanted to declare war against them. They tried to attack them. Everything what they got for the first to the second plan failed, because the Mysterians' heat ray was so powerful. Leaving the United Nations, have decided to team up to Japan to help them, so they could defeat the Mysterians after their second plan was failed. They decided to build a new machine called Microwave Life was the only weapon they can stop them. Along with the repair with when the first beta was destroyed during the second plan to attack. The second beta was finally joined in action when Microwave Life was almost running out of power. Because it can only action for seventy five minutes. It's kinda of like how long you have to be on your computer till your batteries run out. It's kinda of like that. But when the Mysterians are have been kidnapped women including Esako and Hiroko. But Shirashi decided how to do what's right to get all the women to escape. When Asumi went to rescue them, but what he didn't know, Shirashi already got him out until he knew it. Shirashi gave them the note to Asumi so to give it to, to Dr. Adashi about his report of the mystery. He couldn't finish it earlier at the time. Akihiko Hirata did a great play as Shirashi and I really great to have I really Really enjoy his performer, and he did it great. Harada will always be a great no actor for many other Toho movies as well. Well, there are a lot of information about the Mysterians, but I'm gonna have to talk about a few more moments before I have to conclude it. Toho made a plan a sequel to the Mysterians. It was actually a loose sequel of it, titled Battle in Outer Space, also known as the Great Space War. But it has. Well, it does have a feature return of Dr. Adashi and Asuko Shirashi, but they were played by a different actor. And Harold, Con Harold Conway's his character from the Mysterians all made a return as well. And also noted, um, there was supposed to be 10 to, when Toho wanted to plan to make it a sequel, I mean a remake of the Mysterians, supposed to be 10 to release in 1999. But it was never came to pass when, this, when Toho decided to, to re resurrect the Godzilla series back in action. With Godzilla 2000 Millennium. But there was a false. We almost got one idea. We almost had a plan. We almost got made. That almost got made in 1990. Which is Godzilla versus the, Godzilla versus the Mysterian. But it was never came to pass. But according to John DeMay's book. The Lost Film Book. There was a mission about Godzilla versus the Mysterians. Was supposed to be intended to release in the 1990s. I believe it might be set up for a sequel to the Mysterians, like set up a different story rather than what the Battle in Outer Space did. Well, I don't, I'm not sure about it. So anyway, that's all I had to say for the Mysterians. Stay tuned to next episode. I am going to reveal the Toho's 1958 Toho Kaiju movie, Varen. Stay tuned for that episode. So thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will always stay with your fan. Then go with your fan. 1990 will always be here for more and do more videos in the future. So yeah. So stay with your fans as always. So I remember my friends. Bye.